delving deeper into lesson number 25. You know, there's a doctrine among God's faithful who embrace dispensationalism. And one of the tenets of that um, belief is the rapture of the church. Now, this teaching understands that Jesus will come back secretly and pull believers out of the world before the seals and the trumpets and the bowls begin. The followers of Jesus are removed from the sufferings that is meant for the unbelieving world. And I pray these folks are right. But when I examine what John has written so far, it doesn't appear that this doctrine is correct, that believers are somehow spared the rough and tense in catastrophic times. What is protected, though, during these times is falling from the faith. Believers are spiritually protected. God's ambassadors, well, we remain at our posts, testifying, telling others about Jesus right up until the second coming. The two harvests that John sees, one by Jesus and one by God's angels, they're reminiscent of Jesus' parable of the sheep and the goats and the wheat and the weeds. In Matthew chapter 25, verses 31 through 32, the scripture reads, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all his angels with him, he will sit on his throne in heavenly glory. And all the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate the people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And those who have bent the knee to Jesus and remained loyal will hear, Come, you who are blessed of my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Now, those who refuse God's gracious invitation hear something very different. Depart from me, you who are cursed into eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Well, in, in this parable, judgment is based on our reaction to human need. Uh, are we helpers? Do, do we seek to meet the need of others at the cost of a personal sacrifice? Well, with the two harvests, judgment is based on fidelity to Jesus. Who are you worshiping? Who are you serving? Where do your loyalties lie? And one thing is for sure, what you do in this life matters. You, bending the knee to the Lordship of Christ, means that you will do what he commands. And the sweeping commands that he's given us are to love God and love others. And, and love, it, it's not a feeling, it's an act of the will to do what's best for the other person. In the Weed in the Weeds parable, the farmhands ask if they should pick the weeds out um, it, from the wheat field. And Jesus says, no. If you weed the thistles, you'll pull up the wheat too. Let them grow together until harvest time. Then I'll instruct the harvesters to pull up the thistles, tie them in bundles for the fire, then gather the wheat and put it in the barns. Well, since the double harvest, the grape and the grain, simultaneously occur in the seventh event, it's safe to say that there is no rapture of the church beforehand. Know what that means? It means stay strong, my friends. Stay faithful.